same ones that working for one loud mouth so, exactly mm. yeah but this is one thing people doesn't under doesn't doesn't understand mm. that nigeria they're looking at that nigeria is created by the foreigners that's right is a foreign is a foreign country that is not a country and the ones that are holding the country on their hands and those who are holding it, they know the country is not, that Nigeria is not a country. They know. And they're there to root whatever they can. Because mm. they know it's not an organized country. It's not a created country. No. And you see this division and hatred. Mm -hmm. It's just getting it's just getting started and it will continue getting worse. I swear. And everybody, mm. everybody knows what to do. Mm. Let's divide the country. The ones who want to go with Nigeria. Go Shoot. with Nigeria. Uh -huh. The ones who want to go to Yoruba nation, you go to Yoruba nation. The one who want to go to the Biafra, you go to the Biafra. That would dissolve all these hatreds. And the ones that are hating people and making all these comments, they are the most sufferers ones uh -huh. that keep on hating people. They feed those things into them. Uh -huh. And those the ones that are supposed to fight it hard to them to get their own nation. Get away from this country called Nigeria. Do you get that? Nigeria if you cannot tolerate yourselves country? anymore, yeah, if you can't tolerate yourself, if, it's, you know the only thing there is that uh, these people who are spreading this kind of hatred, they're actually in the minority. The reason why it is so effective is because the, the system, the government of Nigeria is funding it as well. They are funding that in two rhetoric, right? But I, people I, they I, are I, using, I they are in the minority. If not, if you don't I, want you go again, then support your European nation. If you don't like it, yeah, uh, if you don't like Yoruba like again, then support Biafra. How can you want Nigeria in a way? You know, uh -huh. go on. And, and think of where you want to be because uh -huh. that's the same people. Whenever you're talking about creating a country that will benefit every single one of them, to making a country that will be existing. Because when they look at the Nigeria in 1960 or 1970, it's not the same Nigeria that is today. No. No. It's not because no Nigeria is more backwards. Uh -huh. It's more backwards as never been. And we can see it's why. Add that to, I want you to add it that this is not just Nigeria going back or what have you. We can see why it is going back. And we know back. that if this continues, which we know it will continue, right? Then yeah. there is no future for this contraption. How is that difficult? Yeah, the people who want you to answer Nigeria, they are not developing. No. They're not putting the money inside the country they're calling Nigeria. No. They're pushing the money out. That's right. They're pushing it out. So where is that future coming, coming from? Is... Exactly. There is nothing in Nigeria. So it's about the time. Those ones that are talking about who they want to kill, who they want, let them figure out where they belong and start asking the, these criminals they are in seat now or mm -hmm. in the back walls where they what they want. Yeah. And what they want is referendum referendum is just like a, they're talking about the election that's or, right it's just you go there and vote figure out you want to still be in nigeria or you want to get that it's, it's, it's a, a yes or no vote it's, yeah it's, it's yes or no it's nothing like a killing and those criminals they know what it is because no what's that happens, they will them all of them out uh -huh. but it's nigeria it's nigeria continuum they will keep on doing it, hatred, and it will, it will get worse, and it will cause a lot of killing. Then we we'll go on to the, the air, we'll go on to become Rwanda, the latest Rwanda. That's what will happen. Because uh, that's the kind of hatred they are pushing now. Not, Poison people, kill them, do far, this. Eh? Yes, it's not too far away from Rwanda. Nigeria huh. is not too far. As he is, Nigeria is, it's about the time they stand up, figure out where they are, and asking these criminals to give them their referendum. It's just like a regular vote, and you're going to ask him for uh, Governor election, uh -huh. it's just a one vote, uh -huh. yes or no. My, well, let me leave you right here. Let's Bless you. Uh, thank you, about, thank you so back. much for yeah, thanks for adding your voice to this as well. Okay, so like uh, as I was saying, right? Nobody that is a big god, I have not seen a single big god that has shown the same passion that they have shown in their hatred towards any other ethnic or any other tribe in Nigeria. I have never seen a single bigot shown the same passion towards good governance. Ask for it from the criminals in their crib called their leaders or politicians. I have never seen that same energy. And that's why you will know that uh, yeah, people are transferring their trauma, their hatred, 
amplified by the system, the system of eight, which APC, Egbekegbe represents APC. Egbekegbe. Now, I am going to take uh, maybe one more call, and then we are going to call it a night. I only have just about uh, five, seven minutes left. But let's take this. Hello. One name. One name. Osita. One name. You know they like me, this kind of conversation. It's like you always kind of, this is the time you would like to dial for 100 times, 200 times until you get connected. And here yeah, because... Hmm? Because, because I am detribalizing the, the 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 contraption. Bless you. Then you have the yes. floor, please. Yeah, my brother. You know, most of the times when I come here and I tell you, we are not one country, and we will never be. Yes. And people think that oh, maybe we could still work it out. Hmm. Whenever I talk about, in most recent times, I keep telling people, let's not talk about uh, 2027. The election. Mm. Because it's not going to yield any fruit. And people think there is still hope somewhere. The truth is, when you want to destroy a nation, mm. the first thing that you do is that you destroy education. They killed education. They weaponized poverty. And here are we talking about bigotry. If you have education, you will be able to beat that bigotry. If you have edu education, you will beat hunger. So now you couldn't beat, uh, I mean, education has been beaten, has been taken down. Hunger comes in. Then, they can weaponize people by paying them peanuts so that they can, can actually divide tricks like this. Mm. Yeah, so that they can divide them the more. We are here talking about it. According to our five view, I'll be sitting down inside my house and I'll be eating. Mm. They are eating. They are drinking wine. And why we are the one talking about it? Tearing ourselves apart. Tearing ourselves apart. Mm. Even while I was living in London, I remember there was a particular incident that happened and the guy called me a certain name because I'm, a, I'm an African. And I called him a certain name because uh, he's supposedly white because for me, there's nothing like white. That color doesn't look white. You understand? So I, he called me a black monkey. I called him a swine. He called the cops on me, the local cops on me, and I stood my ground. And I told them that they should ask him what he called me first. So now, you, you, when you look at it, the reality on the ground is that who is winning? Hmm. Psychologically, we are not winning. They are winning. And I yeah, asked, yeah. yes, and I asked the police that came to my office then, and I asked the police, I said, do I look different from you, for God's sake? Do I look different from you? You have one head, I have one head. Two limbs, I have, you have two limbs, I have two limbs. Two hands, everything. There's no difference in us. So why are we dividing all these things and dividing all these things? The reason we are dividing all these things today is because it's not a country. We are not one. Even and if the we way are pretending goes, to be, it's obvious we that pretending. we are not. And there's nothing wrong we in that. Not. And there's nothing wrong about that. At least I have Ghanaian friends. I have friends from Gambia. Mm -hmm. We relate well. So, but the reason is because we are all trapped, enshrined into one uh, 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 contraption that is never going to work. Big, big country. Take one Nigeria. Oh, you look at Take you. One Nigeria. You're a giant uh, of the Africa. See, now, you, you know your number. You could use your number for your the, good. The reason is so painful to not. me is that hmm. for what they said our population is, is close to about 200 million people. Let me use that. They, they are brandishing 230 million. Now, Sita, you are not yes. up to date. It's now about yes. 250 million. They are saying. Yes. Let me use their statistics. Then, a group of people who is not up to 1% of that population, 
They are not even up to 0.1% of that population. A group of people is using everyone. Go to their house, our biases, our prejudices, yes. our hate. That's the thing. Hmm. Because that's the word of the Bible says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. It is because they took knowledge away from us. The reason me and you here can talk about all these things. If you see somebody who is a Nigerian, I mean, who is in Nigeria, analyzing this situation, they will not analyze it better the way you, you are analyzing it. It's because we, God has helped us. Nature brought us this far that we've been able to understand how what is called a normal living. Let's not even talk about good living, a normal Just living, normal, which is, yeah. yes, which is live and let live. So the way we have been constructed in that country, I don't expect it, like the last caller said, it is only going to get worse. The reason, the reason is not as worse as you think right now. Had it been Nigeria is a country whereby everybody has guns, everybody is well, prone to animation. It's going to be a different story now. Right. A different story. That once well, it happens, how long is going to take before we we already know the prolification of uh, uh, proliferation of uh, arms? illegal short arms, small arms, and all of that across the place that they said that currently there are over 400 million guns inside Nigeria, illegally, most of them, right? We are talking about illegally now, not the ones in the hands of the security and all of that. And it's obvious, right, that the pull, I mean, take a look at the terrorists who have been operating for so long in that contraption. Oh, this, uh, that's, that's where I want to come So to. if this hatred <laughs> continues this way, a lot of us may be shocked they, at the level of killings that no, could take place is, in one bank. The truth is that eh? if, you, if you will agree with me, yep. the news media in Nigeria is suppressing the news. The government is suppressing the news. Hmm. Had it been the news that have been carried out, that yep. once something happened, they carry it. Once something happened, they will carry it. Trust me, the reason they did that is so that maybe... The international community won't start crying that, oh, okay, let's break this country since they are just killing themselves like that. That's the reason they are suppressing the news. So, in the nutshell, anybody, it was still my uh, uh, contribution yesterday. Right. Anybody who is here that things are happening before your eyes and you are now thinking that, oh, we should be talking about 2027. Election. I am so sorry because there is nothing like 2027. Hmm. It's a fallacy. So the only thing we will pray for is that, and I, I've been praying about it, is that God will help Kalu to do it the way he wants to do it. So that we can then also... Almighty God, hmm. then Almighty God, is God that is having Kalu, but Almighty God will now help the Northern Ass so that they can resist, so that they can fight, so that all of us can now join and fight. Maybe that's the only way we can get this particular freedom that we are asking and for. Their time shall tell. Osita. And if, so if anybody that is thinking that we will get this thing on the platter of gold, it is never going to happen. No, it won't. Thank you, Thank you so much. much, Osita. It's such uh, you know, a pleasure hearing from you again. Enjoy the rest of uh, the evening as it All is right. a night uh, over here. Thank you so much, Baba. Sure. Have a good one. Eh? So that's uh, Osita, ladies and gentlemen. From that, we will draw the curtain this evening. The lesson you have to draw from this conversation this night, among others, among others right, is that wherever you see any bigots, eh? Do not support them, even if they are from your own uh, clan, tribe, ethnic, or this or that, because they are not speaking for you. And every bigot, every uh, bigot pushing their bigot uh, Olympics in Nigeria, they are contributing to what is still probably look, I mean, going to lead to something worse. A genocide caused by uh, another senseless, uh, hateful, uh, you know, state-sponsored genocide, I'll call it. It's going to happen. We already are actually witnessing genocide left, right, and center from that uh, in that uh, contraption. 
but you have no idea what the level of uh, ruins and the destruction this politically sponsored, funded hatred, courtesy of APC. Just think about it. There is no bigger that is speaking for you. Is that that they are those frustrated who live outside Nigeria? All the sewage dwellers, those frustrated ones as well, who blame everyone for their miserable existence, but themselves. I don't know where you belong to. But if you are a bigot, hmm, I hope you don't think you are anonymous. You call for the killing of anyone, it won't matter where you live. It's just going to be a matter of time. All this bigotry, we know they build road. Bigotry, we know give you electricity. You will fight yourself, kill yourself. Mm -hmm. I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, your time this evening. We started late, but we managed to get all our time. But listen, you've been with me for the past three hours. For those who started with us, don't leave without liking this. That is your own offering. I'm going to see you some other time. Good night.
maye kun ti de gogo ojelu e sun ra ki sugar ni ba ti se yi to ye ki won se omo ba de ro ni fi won ni ran o e a maye kun ti de gogo ojelu e sun ra ki maye kun ti de gogo ojelu e sun ra ki Sugani bati sheyi to ye ki won se omo ba de ro o ni fi won ni ro won fo wo be o ma ye gun o so pe wo o be be won fo wo be ma ye gun o so pe wo o be be oni kan sha ti sheyi to ye ki won se ma won ra ilu to pe won de be o aye Aye ko ti de gogo ojelu e suraki Aye ko ti de gogo ojelu e suraki Sugba ni ma ti se yi to ye ki won se omo ba de ro o ni fi won ni ro Ha ki ma yi se re oro yi ki se fe Ki ma yi se re Eni ba ti le le bo le ru o omo ba de ro ka sai tu won si ta e ma ye ko ti de gogo oje du e sura ki ma ye ko ti de gogo oje du e sura ki sugba ni ba ti se yi to ye ki won se omo ba de ro o ni fi won ni ro Tani tani omo ma ye kun ore ara ilu mama ni o fo lohun so e ba ki lebu loto olododo ilu oja ilu mama ni iwo sha ma sora ko si mo beru bo tan le ri bo ni segun le ka won mama fi se ra won ni o ti dehun ti won gbo do si mo be e e ku obo lo mo ba de ro ta je o gbo do je o ti do ba lori abinu eni ko si mo fu ya ai si wolu ni eni ke igodi eyin labara o ko eni to ba do wa 